class we will discuss about electromagnetic radiation first of all we have to know the nature of light light is a particular form of energy according to newton light is composed of tiny particles called corpuscles and this theory is called corpuscular theory this theory successfully explain the reflection and refraction of light but was unable to explain the interference and diffraction of light later maxwell found that an alternating current with high frequency radiated energy in the form of waves and these waves are traveled in space with the same speed as that of light and associated with both electric and magnetic field these waves are called electromagnetic waves or electromagnetic radiation and this theory is called wave theory of light according to this theory the light is transmitted in the form of electromagnetic waves and these waves are associated with electric and magnetic waves directed at right angles to each other and are also perpendicular to the direction of propagation of the wave and these all electromagnetic waves travel with the same velocity is equal to the velocity of light and these electromagnetic waves do not require any medium for propagation or transmission now we will discuss about wave and wave motion wave and wave motion what is a wave wave is a periodic disturbance in space and wave motion is the propagation of this periodic disturbance which carries energy now in a figure i am showing wave motion So one hertz is equals to 
all electromagnetic waves have same velocity that is equal to the velocity of light. So, C is equal to 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. Equals to 3 into 10 to the power 10 centimeter per second. And all electromagnetic waves have same velocity that is C and they will differ from one another in their wavelength and frequency. And there is an expression that is velocity is equals to multiplication of lambda and mu. That is velocity equals to wavelength frequency. This expression is very important. Now, the number of waves which can be accommodated in unit length is called wave number, which is represented by mu bar. And the unit of mu bar is centimeter inverse. And this wave number is reciprocal of wavelength. So, mu bar is equal to 1 by lambda. And the height of crest or the height of trap from the line of propagation is called amplitude which is represented by small a and this amplitude determines the intensity of radiation. So from here c equals to lambda multiplied with mu and from here mu is equals to c by lambda. And 1 by lambda is equal to mu bar, so is equal to c into mu bar. This is one expression which is very useful. This is electromagnetic spectrum, the arrangement of different types of electromagnetic radiations in increasing order of their wavelength and decreasing order of frequency is called electromagnetic spectrum. This is the complete electromagnetic spectrum where from left to right wavelength increasing and frequency decreasing. That is cosmic rays have minimum wavelength and maximum frequency. And here in the right side maximum wavelength and minimum frequency. And here one region is visible region. Human eye can detect this visible spectrum. And this visible spectrum has seven colors. That is violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. From left to right wavelength increases and frequency decreases. So violet color has minimum wavelength and red color has maximum wavelength. And violet color has minimum maximum frequency and red color has minimum frequency. So this is the complete electromagnetic spectrum. According to Max plan, the molecules of a hot body emit light radiation discontinuously and in the form of small energy bundles. From Planck's quantum theory, radiant energy is emitted or absorbed discontinuously in the form of small energy packets. is known as quanta or photons. Each quantum of radiation is associated with a definite amount of energy depending upon the frequency of radiation. If the energy of the quantum is E, then it is proportional to mu that is frequency of radiation. So, E is equal to H mu. Here, H is equal to Planck's constant. And the value of H is 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 27 arc second in CGS and in SI 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second. And a body can emit or absorb energy only in an integral multiple of quantum. So the radiant energy can only be emitted as H nu, 2 H nu, 3 H nu and so on. Now photoelectric effect. When a beam of light of sufficiently high energy is made to fall on a metal surface, electrons are ejected. This phenomenon is called photoelectric effect and the electrons ejected are called photoelectrons. Now a minimum frequency of Minimum frequency is needed to eject the electrons. This minimum frequency is called threshold energy and denoted as nu zero. Nu zero is threshold frequency. And the kinetic energy of electron does not depend on the intensity of the incident light. It depends upon the frequency of the incident light. Now, Einstein described this 
photoelectric effect on the basis of quantum theory of radiation. According to this theory, H nu is equal to W plus half mv square. Here W is a work function which is the energy required to overcome the attractive forces on the electrons in the metal. So W is equal to H nu zero. Where nu zero is the threshold frequency. This is the minimum frequency which gives its entire energy to overcome this attractive force and the electrons will be ejected. So from here H nu is equal to H nu zero plus half mv square or half mv square is equal to h nu minus h nu zero or half mv square equals to h nu minus nu zero. This is Einstein equation of photoelectric effect. So from this discussion it is believed that light has two nature that is wave nature and particle nature because 